right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 84 of Mog Monday, the show where I play goblins every single Monday. Mog Monday. Thanks, Teresa. I appreciate that, Cesar. And uh, I'm sorry, Gilly. Gilly, thank you. And uh, and uh, <laughs> yes, the Mog Monday theme song re ringtone. That's, that's going to be a, a future product, of course. 84 is a special episode of Mog Monday. Want to know why? Who wants to know why, huh? Nobody? It's 84. It's my hockey number. Yep, that's the number I wear when I play hockey. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So Mog Monday today, episode 84. We're playing some modern, and I have mushed together two of my loves. Of course, love goblins, of course, obviously. And then Loxobots. Now, if you've seen, I uh, haven't seen this deck. Uh, unfortunately, when they banned Mox Opal, they kind of killed this deck in modern. Uh, but Loxobots is a deck I played a lot. I uh, really, really love venerated Loxodon in general. Loxobots, you can look it up online. I played it in an invitational to a decent finish. Um, Loxobots is an artifact aggro mono white deck. And uh, of course, now we're trying to mix it together. We're going to do a little uh, a little artifact aggro goblin mishmash party. We got, we got goblins and elephants hanging out together. Why? Well, there are a few goblin cards that play very well with going wide, which is obviously the plan of Venerate Loxobots. So Venerate Loxobots, of course, Loxobots, the point is to play as many zero mana and one mana creatures as possible. Play Venerated Loxodon on turn two, make a bunch of power, and kill your opponent very, very fast. So, the Loxobots cards here are the Artifact Creatures, Signal Pest, Toolcraft, Inspector. That's all good. But what does Goblins bring to the table here? Goblins brings Koldatha Rebirth. One red, sack an artifact, make three 1-1 one, one Goblins. So, really, really awesome. Almost like a ritual for Venerated Loxodon, right? So, you sacrifice a clue. Say so you go turn one, Inspector, make a clue. And turn two, you can go Goblin, Rebirth, Loxodon, pump them all up, which is really, really awesome. So, otherwise, pump here. Uh, Bushwhacker, of course, plays well here. Can be a 1-1 early on if we need to have it for Loxodon, or can pump things later. Loyalist, same idea. And then Mogwar Marshal, of course, is multiple creatures in one card. Mana base here, super uh, low to the ground, lots of colors, some big canyon. Sideboard's got some Alpine Moons, it's got some stuff, you know. This is sort of like a freshly brewed, honestly. I just built this thing up this morning, and... Um, no idea how it's going to go. So we're going to see how it goes here. Mog Monday, episode 84. And let's jump right in. We're brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. So we're not playing Galvanic Blast or any removal spells because we're a synergy deck. All of our pieces got to work together to make artifacts and creatures in play as soon as possible. So, Your hair is a throwback to when I first started following your channel in RNA Standard. Love it. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, Teresa. I appreciate that. And uh, one card I didn't mention in the deck tech was Implement of Combustion. And uh, this card, one mana artifact, when it dies, you draw a card. And then you can pay one and sack it to deal one to a, to a player... Or Planeswalker. Uh, so, little value here. The most important here is just one mana artifact that we sacrifice to uh, to draw a card with Rebirth. It's super, super awesome. We've got to have enough artifact density. So, okay hand here. Not great, but we're going to keep. We're going to keep. It's definitely not ideal. A um, little awkward with Whacker, obviously. We have, this, we have a single copy of Dark Seal Citadel. Um, it's like the 19th land. It's an extra artifact. Just trying to like fill a little bit of the holes. Uh, we're going to keep this. I think we're actually going to play Foundry on one, though. So we can go Foundry, Pest, Midnight. Hit up for a possible turn two Whacker. The one downside of a deck is we can't we can't search for Loxodon anyway. So if the games you don't draw Loxodon, we're going to be a little underpowered. But the games you do do it, we're going nuts. So let's go. Yeah, nice, simple, fun card. Just one mana. Artifact. Goblin Guide. Ooh. Our opponent wants to get aggressive on us. Can help us out with the land here? Oh, we got a land too. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Oh, an even better land. Wow, that's great. All right, so we're just going to whack in an attack here, I guess. Unfortunately, the card Eidolon of the Great Rebel is really good against us. But attacking here for seven. Pretty good turn too. We're a little flooded here. We're only playing 19 lands. So this is a little much, a little much. Another Goblin Guide, sure. Goblin Guide helps make sure we don't draw land next turn, which is good for us. And uh, top card is... I missed it. A Legion Loyalist. Could be worse. Could be worse. What's, um, 
Let's play an implement combustion here. Let's crack it. So deal one. Draw a card. Toolcraft exemplar. They're at nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We put them to three, and they're stuck on one land. Yeah, we're we're gonna jam here. If they untap, I, they they're not gonna untap and kill us. Unless we're playing like a Tarkus command or something like that, which I don't think they are. So we're just freaking jam. Two ships passing in the night. Space Jam, you're at three, and you're D-O-B. Effectively at two, because they implement a combustion. And uh, one land hand's very often a trap and burn. Because you end up at spots like this where you just can't deploy your cards fast enough. So not a, not a great hand from us. It, it, it was fine. It wasn't, you know, amazing. Uh, but can produce some damage pretty quick here. Remember, as I said, we're going to open up these... Strixhaven Collector Boosters packs a little bit later, courtesy of Wishes of a Coast. Big thanks to them for doing that. And now they're going to play some defense. Goblin's guy gets a better back up. What have we learned this week? Shorter hair equals higher tournament finishes. It's true. Y'all going to turn me into the old me. Right? All right, we drew a Loxodon, which is funny because now like both players are pumping the brakes. So they're going to pump the brakes. We're going to pump the brakes also. We should get to uh, put it all in play, though. We should get to, get to go... Uh, we're just gonna draw a card, play thing, and just play a thing and kill them. So draw, see if we draw zero, we don't. Play toolcraft, play Loxodon. And uh, they are really dead next turn. <laughs> really dead. Where'd my hair go? What hair? What are you talking about? I will neither confirm nor deny any conspiracy theories about my hair. All right, so that was sweet. Uh, they obviously missed on lands, but we kind of won, so. We have a lot of cards to bring against them. Uh, we have four tenders. We have Thalia. Unfortunately, we can't remove a Eidolon on the Great Rebel. We're not playing any removal. So any removal will be a kind of a counter to our plan here. But I got the Marshals. Um, kind of awkward. Like, what do we cut? You want to go fast? I think you want Thalia. I mean, Thalia is definitely a little awkward some of our spells but typically really good against. i guess we're on the draw maybe thalia's not good enough on the draw obviously firewalker and forge tender of a nut so what are we gonna cut here like legion loyalist because the com like, like combat stats aren't too important um cut the amount i got the exemplar exemplar's great i'll cut like yeah. i think this is fine uh, Thalia, we'll bring in Thalia on the play for game three if we lose. We're not really a two drop deck, you know, we're more of like a one drop deck, so two mana spells, if we draw two, too many, too, too many one mana spells, we're going to be in, a, in trouble, so. All right, so we got a Mulligan Sand, unfortunately. Just another Mog Monday. Put a Mulligan Six also, we have a one land. Man, if this hand had a Loxodon, it would be out of this world good. I think we're going to keep anyway, though. We're on the draw. We're drawing to any land for Firewalker or any Loxodon. It's awesome, Dingus. Happy to hear about it. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to ship the Whacker. What you got for me on turn one here? Goblin Guide. Optimator Resub. Thanks so much. Andy Ward knows what the best day of the week is. Top card is Signal Pest. We don't like that. And we gotta fetch a duel here too, so it's not ideal, but we're gonna empty our hand because we're scared of Exemplar. And Inspector or Pest? Probably Pest. Yeah, so there's a the B guys here, so the card's going nuts. All right, top card this time. Locks it on our land. It is a Burnton Forge Tender. That's not bad. Forge Tender is not bad. It's not as good. Forge Tender is more for like the Anger of the Gods matchups than the Goblin than the Burn matchup. It's good here too, obviously, but not like amazing. Double Rift Bolt. Yikes. All right, well, we're just getting in. We're about to take six. 
getting in for three. Not amazing. Not amazing. Funny, they, they had a one land hand in game one, and now we, we have the one lander in game two here. Karn does like Barkin. All right, so what do they got? Do they have three cards left? They have two mana in play. Can't really attack because we have a fortune to check the goblin god, obviously. Never mind. They're going to path. Now, I could sacrifice this to save the damage from goblin guide, but we actually like want the land, I think. We'll go to five off the attack, and then the question is, is core firewalker good enough to win from that point? I think it is. We're going to let this happen. So we're going to go to, I guess they have like a spike. Oh, we have the land anyway. If that figures. Rebirth. That's pretty good. All right. So we're going to go to play Firewalker. See what they do here. It resolved instantly. And now I can actually rebirth to gain the life back from the, uh, from the uh, Firewalk, from the land, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to jam with everything. We'll deal three and then we'll re rebirth our Ornithopter. They have two cards in hand. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. All right. We're at five. Five's good because four would not be good. Because effectively, we're turning all of their burn spells into shocks. So if we're at four, that doesn't, that doesn't actually. Yes, yeah, so they go at four. They go spike us, spike us. And we're dead. I play land. Say go. Okay. 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 Memnite, Inspector, Pest. We're just going to jam with the world except for the Firewalker, right? And just play out our hand, hope we don't die here. We certainly die to like Boris Charm plus Bolt or some combination of Era of, but 2, 4, 6, 8. We're probably going to die here. They're probably going to Boris Charm us and kill us. It has to be Boris Charm, though. It can't be a. It can't be a 2, 3 damage spells because we, we would go to 1. So, if we had drawn a, a red card this turn, that might have actually been enough, but we'll see. Goblin guy's going to block. Yeah, this is that they were, we're probably dead. Loxo gobs. Why Thopter over Memnite? Because Memnite deals more damage. They have very few blockers, if any. Yeah, I assume we're dead here. We'll, uh, I guess we'll draw with a clue in case they have, like, anger or something like that. Frank says, JD, like the coverage I did at Hooglandia Open. I know what I'm talking about. Thanks, I appreciate that. I have a lot of fun doing coverage. Hopefully I'll be able to do more. So you get a three, which is effectively four with a Firewalker in play. So don't borrow charm me, basically. Thanks, Lotus. I feel great. I feel like a new man. I love it. Took a shower yesterday. Washed my hair in 35 seconds. It was great. <laughs> Done. Got the shower. Whoosh, whoosh, it's dry. Love it. Love it. I'm a low maintenance kind of guy. So, so the Boris Charm bust here. Oh come on! Inconceivable. <sighs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Unbelievable. All right. Oh, there's our red card too. If we had, if we had drawn one card deeper, oh man. All right, they got us, I guess. The exaxes. All right, now we're on the play. I want to bring in the Thalia's. I think I do. I think I want Thalia on the play. Um, we want to cut any of our spells. Can I cut like? Obviously, implements a lot worse with Thalia in our deck. And we shave like implement implement. Don't want to shave too many. Uh, pass. Let's shave up a, a whacker or two. Rude, very rude. You know, just find the boros charm. They must have drawn off off the uh, off the sack land too. 
canopy land, whatever. <sighs> Alright, we want to draw Inspiring Vantage, our sideboard cards, and a Loxodon. We've got, you know, a bunch of aces here on, on two mana. Thalia on the play is really good against Burn, so we'll see what we can do. Coral's gifted subs. Thanks, Coral. Appreciate that. On the play. Uh, four landers ain't really where we're at. Uh, we got a mulligan in his hand. I mean, we're, we're a 19 land deck. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it. Um, better to dog for a red spell. I couldn't have drawn a card that turn. I didn't have enough mana to play a thing and draw and play a red spell. We're going to mulligan. We're also mulligan. We, we, have, so we have like eight or six really good cards in the matchup, so we're going to mulligan. Oh my god. That's a hand of magic cards. That is a hand. That's a hand of the week. It's not even close. Hand of the week. You saw, you saw it on your live, folks. Hand of the week. Oh, you can't keep this hand either. Um, just three painful lands. Not enough of a clock. Uh, none of our good cards. Can't keep this hand either. This hand, like in the dark, is pretty good, I think. But you can't, you can't keep this hand against burn. Oh my god. Well, we found both of our good cards and no lands, of course. So going to four. All right, I guess we're keeping up four. <laughs> sure. So keep. We'll ship Foundry, Canyon, Mountain. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, what are you going to do? I'm going to play uh, Forge Tender and Ornithopter and Sigga and hope the top of our deck is really kind to us. Not a not a good deck uh, to mulligan to four with. Definitely a critical mass deck for sure. Oh, boy. What are you going to do? Goblin Guide, sure. Goblin Guide staying home like a coward. Venerated Locks on a bad draw. The problem is we just like don't have any creatures or lands. So like we're not really doing it on here. Um, so we can draw any zero drop or any land to at least put Loxodon in play. I had a lot on the Great Rebel. All right. It's, I mean, sure. Getting a historic anthology video? No, my article uh, this Friday on CoolStuffInc.com will be all about... That was actually a really good draw. Well, that was one of the best possible draws. will be all about the historic anthology. It's, it's, it seems really, really good. I'm, I'm very pumped for it. So, sack this. This is the nuts. This was a, that was the best possible draw. So, now we have the Ritual for Loxodon, which is awesome. We're going to go to seven teams. It's not like it's not that bad. And of course, locks on the house. Mulligan to four. Can we do it, folks? Is this possible? Conceivable? Man, lagging is sweet. Let's go. All right, don't path me. And don't forget, we can't move Eidolon, but it is two sided, and we are racing here, so. All right, they had the path. They slow roll it too, like a sicko, which is great. Um, and now we are racing. Can they beat the rest of my hand? We shall see. Not sure what could have possibly taken them so long to cast that, but another Eidolon? So they might just be looking to trade Eidolons for 2-2s. Two no, they're coming in. Our top card is an Inspector. All right. We really can't, like, cast spells anymore, honestly. I'm going to crack and look for a, uh, a Venerated Loxodon. So that's when we can cast. It's inspiring, man. It's not very good. All right. Uh, we're just going to attack. I mean, I imagine they're probably going to block here. Unless they're an insane person, which is possible, of course. With two Eidolons in play and them at 13, they can only cast so many spells, you know. So they're going to block here. They're going to go to nine. And I believe we're going to cast Inspector here. We'll take two. We're kind of like 
we're not ahead, but like we're in a decent spot. For a mulligan to four, I mean, this hand has really panned out pretty well, all things considered. Imagine if we get three extra cards this game. And the way this game is lined up, because they have always Eidolons, like, we just don't have spells anyway, because we mulligan to four. <laughs> you know, sorry, bought it, no spells here, mulligan to four, you know. <laughs> Smart play by us. Big brain. Big brain, mulligan to four. Waka waka. Two more and I get a sub baby to name. Give a treat for the goodest of boys for me. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Risa, welcome back. All right, so now we're going to draw. We're going to draw an implement of combustion. Cantrips are not very good with an Eidolon play, but we're going to jam now. I mean, honestly, now we just turn the corner and start attacking. I imagine they're going to trade off the Eidolon. Um, I should have drawn a clue, with clue first, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. She's going to attack. Um, does Forge Gender go in or stay home is a pretty interesting question because we are trying to kill them. They have like a Helix or something here. It would be pretty bad for us. Yeah, I'm just going to leave the Forge Gender home. I think at 11, we're like safe enough. And they're probably going to trade off the Eidolon here. I think it's our casting things. Wow. So this is them maximizing the fact that we mulligan to four. And trying to just trade resources with us. Um, which is honestly like kind of fine. I mean, that's not bad for us at all. Let's play Combustion. Let's pop off and deal one damage to them. Draw a card. It's a Rebirth. Oh my god. Bingo! Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I know the MTG Bob message is way off. I know. I know. Nothing works. Bolt, me, end step. Sure. Now, next turn, we're draw a whacker. Maybe I actually board one of our whackers out. Just didn't think the game would go like this, but they're at eight. We get six power in play. Um, and four tenders ready to go in the red zone next turn, so not looking too shabby here. I mean, it's not good. They still have four cards in there. We can definitely just die. They should go spike, 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 kill us or whatever. But, all right, great. Here we go. I don't know why I talk, personally. I don't know really why I, I ever open my mouth. My lips are moving. My lips are moving. My lips are moving. And we die, die, die. When I, when I was teaching at that, that stupid private school for sixth graders, I ran, like, the podcast club. And one of the girls wanted to do a their podcast thing about that song and I had to listen to it like a thousand times. I mean, they, you spike me, opponent. You, you, this is like a, a, a formulation of a plan here with Burn. You kind of just have it or you don't. You just do the thing, you know. I have no cards in hand. Not a lot to like really think about here. So, either getting savagely slow rolled or I don't even know what's going on. Should have only sent in Fortune because I can't block it. I mean... We don't necessarily want to keep the idol on in play. You kind of want it out of, out of the play. So, all right. Whacker off the top. Let's go. Whacker. That's not, the, that's not great, but... All right, we're going to jam. Uh, and four gender can counter one burn spell, so... They are going real low here. You know, now they have a canyon in play too, so. Real deliberate burn player here. Just deliberate, you know? Festive! No more curls. Yep, it's all gone. Thanks, Theresa. Appreciate that. <laughs> the ponderous, ponderous burn player. The burn player who thinks about everything they're gonna searing blaze for one all right we're gonna go to four put them to three two one two three two one no! i don't do math so we're effectively at four with a with a, a single counter spell uh for their one of their burn spells um but that hair was about half the pandemic uh, Nicole gave me a pandemic haircut. We did it. We shaved my head for some like 
think it was a like a BML, um, like charity stream or something like that. Uh, and we shaved, we shaved, I shaved my head for that. So we won. Game. Blouses. Mulligan to four. Happy Mod Monday, everyone. Let's freaking go. Loxo Gobs coming at you. Coming at you. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's go. All right. Match number two on the draw. It's a decent hand. It's decent. Aggressive. No locks on, but aggressive nonetheless. Man, what a game. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. Mod Monday, episode 84. Snow-covered forest amulet of vigor. All right, well, if, if it's a pure goldfish, I mean, they kill on turn two or three. They can, but, you know, this could be worse, I suppose. That's not, not a very good draw. All right, so... Uh, we're going to get ourselves a Sacred Foundry. We're going to play Toolcraft Exemplar. And uh, we need to play four power on turn one. It's not that bad. And we have... Uh, we got a Whacker in hand, too. So, you know, we could maybe do some damage here. Model War Marshall is not great in a matchup like this. You know, it's kind of like just a... It's a bit of a concession to slower decks and stuff like that. Um, not a bad card to play on a Loxodon turn. You know, turn one, like, Thopter, Memnite, Toolcraft, turn two, Marshall, Loxodon. You know, it's two cards, two tokens, and one, but... Alright. Go off, Amulet of Vigor. Do your thing, I guess. Koldaltha Rebirth, the Red Ancestral Recall. <laughs> this is about... A Boreal Grazer? What? That's good against me. You can't play that card. That's not fair. Boros Garrison. All right, here we go. All right, so untap. I mean, that was a good draw. We can't whack her, though. We need a third land. So we're just going to, like, Inspector, Rebirth, the, the Clues, Attack. Um, and then we'll set up for a whacker next turn. So, just get in. See if they jump block here or they block them night. They're going to go for another block the next turn, sure. And uh, we can get a, a mountain, I think is fine. And we're going to rebirth our inspector clue. So, if we draw a land next turn, we can go Loyalist and Whacker. What do we got? We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14. So, attack for 18. With a block, they'll survive, I think, right? Oh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, they'll, they'll still survive. They got nothing doing here. What's going on? Land? No. Not bad, though. Especially if it's not a land, but it better be that, you know? All right. I mean, fire away. Come see the amazing Goblin Whacker guy. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you. All right, here we go. I mean, maybe we should actually left back one creature because if they have Bounce Land, Titan, I think they do exactly 16 with... Uh, I think they're playing Hand War Garrison now and not playing the uh, Slayer Stronghold. They used to do 16, because it would be like, Titan, give it plus two, plus so in haste, attack, get double strike land, double strike it. Yeah, Spectre's the nut, the nut in this deck. Spectre's really good. Alright, I mean, they're just dead. So, like, they either have to kill me or make an unbeatable board. And without Field of a Dead... Um, they probably just have to kill me. I don't think they can go and do enough there. Enough here. I mean, they could get like a blast zone. They wouldn't even do it though. All right, here we go. I I built this deck about an hour ago. It's sort of like a combination of freshly brewed and, and Mog Monday. All right, here we go. Azusa lost, but seeking. Sure. 
can go on. So now they can play some more chambers, make some more mana. One Infernal Titan, that would do it. That would do it. That is true. Legion of Lowe's would be field anyway. That, that is true, actually. Sit back and relax. Admire my Strixhaven collector booster packs. We're going to open a little bit later. I want to remind everyone that also, also be after this, I'll be going over my matches from the Insight Esports $5,000 standard open. We did pretty well with uh, on Saturday. I'm not going to spoil the result of the event. Just spoil the matches, but be pretty good. And I'll be going over uh, my important matches, the uh, the later matches in the tournament. Again, not to spoil anything, I guess. But it should be a lot of fun. I played a cool mono green deck in standard. Make some money. Might have played against good friend, former teammate, Andrew Jessup as well. And I'm going to open these packs. And I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to take a nap because I'm freaking tired. All right. Here's Titan. Again, if they have um, Hanwar Garrison and not Slayer Stronghold. All right, they have Slayer Stronghold. I think we're dead. I think if I had left back one creature to block, we might have been okay to live this game. They might not have enough to get the the double strike, though. I think they're actually one short of double striking, too, though. So... Maybe we're not dead. Because 8 and 8 is obviously 16 for double strike, but they aren't there yet. Unless they still have a land drop. Yeah, I think we're I think we're fine here. Right? What do they get? They get double strike land, Vesuva, copy Boros Garrison. That's only three, not four. They're going to get Radiant Fountain, Kalani Garden. They're dead. We got them, folks. We got them. Yeah, plant Azusa, not enough here. Not enough at all. You got another whacker. I don't think it's enough. All right, it's untapped. We draw a land in the game. It's definitely over. But a little late, bud. A little late to the party here. So we play whacker, attack with everything. They have three blockers, and everything is two. That should do it. Yeah, that's great. Let's whack it up. It's the amazing bush whacker guy. Master blockers agree. Agree. I guess a Titan doesn't have to. It doesn't matter. They block these three things. Take two, four, six, eight, ten. Whoa! Game. Blouses. How about them apples? Well, I don't know about them apples. I don't really know about those. Those, those are some pretty good apples. Um, we bring an Alpine move. What do we even name? <laughs> like, we're going for the most efficient cards possible. So we're not playing in, like Blood Moon because it would also screw us too. But um, we want the cheaper ones because we're very, very cheap. I mean, you can name, like, Simic Growth Chamber or, like, uh, something like that. I mean, I think we're in pretty good shape here. I don't know if they have, like, a like Fire Spout, some sort of, like, Mass Removal spell. Um, they might have Engineered Explosives, which is pretty good against us. Um, yeah, I don't really know, honestly. Can like so Alpine Moon. I mean, we name like the Haste Land. They can't like haste us, but it seems pretty suspect, honestly. It's better than I mean. Marshall's Marshall's just terrible against them. Like just unbelievably awful. So, um, I gotta cut. A card, I guess. Run the draw. I got the Citadel on the draw, honestly. I think 18 lands is fine. I mean, kind of implement. That's fine. I think it's like real six of one, half a dozen of the other kind of thing. You know, like, sure, whatever. I guess the Citadel is an artifact, too. Yeah, we just like, we'll, we'll, we'll just like figure out what to name with Moon once we get there, honestly. You know? Maybe we'll name Slayer Stronghold. Maybe we'll name Simic Grow Chamber. Maybe we'll draw four lands in our 18 land deck. Um, Inconceivable! Not we're a million here, obviously. But I mean, like, our hand has a lot of potential. You know, it is a, a possible. If we draw a Loxodon, our hand's insane. But, like, we just can't get a four-lander ever. Even with a canopy. This is just a racing matchup, and this is not a racy hand. Uh, I mean, this is better. We're going to have to keep this. We have Implement, Loxodon, Whacker. This is pretty good. Um, do we... Uh, 
Do we even bother keeping Alpine Moon? Yeah, I probably do. Let's keep this. Ship that. They all get a five. It's pretty good for us. So we have turn one implement, turn two rebirth, draw a card, hope we draw another land and play play like a a moon, I guess, something. Radiant Fountain on one. That means they probably have a uh, probably have a amulet. There it is. They aren't five cards though, so. And his name is John. School done? Yep. Sweet. Oh um, homework done? I was just about to start it. Excellent. Well if John gets all his homework done, does a good job on it. Before I'm done streaming. Yep, we're going to do John 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 Gym Show today. So look for that a little bit later. I'm going to do my match. Go over my matches, and then uh, assuming John did a good job on his schoolwork and helped take care of Nicole and everything else, then we'll do John Gym Show too. Cool. So cool. All right, sweet. Came to wish you luck on your matches. Thanks, bud. John, what are your thoughts on Mod Monday? What? What are your thoughts on Mod Monday? Muxus is now nicknamed Daddy. Daddy's home. Daddy Muxus. And John's got a transparent shirt because his shirt happens to be green. It's pretty funny. Oh my god, there's Jim D. OMG in your chest. Look. That's pretty funny. All right, opponent's amuleting. Let's see what's going on over Meanwhile, here. Meanwhile, I have my head floating. Floating head. Oh, nope, nope. That happens every time. Every single time. <laughs> happens at least once a Mog Monday. You missed the intro, you gotta see it in the beginning, you know? That's how it works. And they double played Radiant Fountain? Jeez. My bad. My bad. Because the thing is that on. I'm gonna on start my homework. Sounds good. Get it all done fast. Do a good job, though, or else you're in big trouble. Um, the You turn on the. You turn on the, the. The Mod Monday thing. It finishes playing, but it stays on. Uh, so the next time you go back to the scene, it plays it again, which is really annoying. So, all right, we're going to, uh, start by rebirthing here and see what we draw. So crack this, sack this, draw a card. We draw a land. Okay. And I think we're just going to hard cast. So we're just like we're one short right now. If we draw any ornithopter or anything like that, we could have gone, locks it on this turn. I think we're just going to play, I guess playing, you might as well play Alpine Moon. Because if we play... A whacker. We're gonna tap it anyway. Yeah. So we'll just play Alpine Moon and name. <laughs> I don't even know what to name, honestly. I don't think it's worth naming Simic Growth Chamber. I think we're just like too likely to miss. They have four of them, but like probably just Slayer Stronghold, I guess. I don't know. I think Artifact Land should be unbanned in Modern, yes. I think if Mox Opal is banned, Artifact Land should be legal. And this deck would obviously love them, so... Um, Alright. I'm gonna name Abbot of Carol Keep. Uh, so Simic Growth Chamber or... Or Slayer Stronghold. Neither feels pretty. Neither feels real. Feels particularly good. I might actually just cut one of these Alpine Moons. Wait, what? Stronghold, right? Oh, it's, I, I spelled Slayer Stronghold. Sure. All right, you're up. You're up on it. Uh, artifact lands are very, very good. They would open up a lot of fun possible like brew space. Um, hey, I mean that kind of sucks. We gave them, we gave them a utopia, but they seem to have not much. They all get a five this game, so we're going to uh, another whacker. Jeez, play land, play oh a naked whacker, and then we actually can't convoke for five anyway, so we're just gonna. Play Loxodon and say go. If we uh, we have a planes in play, it's kind of annoying. So we can't like double whacker next turn we draw land. But I mean, whackering over back to back turns here is pretty good. So all right. I mean, what do you got for me, opponent? Three cards in hand, four mana.
Next turn, we get to Whacker. Attack for 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. It's a lot. They're on a two-turn two clock right now, so they need to make some moves. Well, I guess, I guess they, play, they play Valakut. Civic Road Chamber, sure. All right. I mean, that was our other possible name. If they have a Titan here. We're in a bit of doo-doo. Why did I pay one life to these in the Foundry? Because I, I don't know. I just screwed up. Happens. They have a Titan too. God. All right. I mean, without Slayer Stronghold, they can't really like do anything this turn. It's too bad. Um, but that is pretty gross. Cause they're still they're at twenty four life. Surprised they didn't bounce the Fountain on the last one. Double to Laria West. I mean, now they can go get, like, an Explosives for zero. Yeah, we're probably dead this game. I'll buy Moon. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Obviously, getting much better against, like, Tron. Not really super great here. Tron or, uh, or Scape Shift. So, they're just going to bounce uh, a Teleria, go get a... Uh, it could get explosive. That's next turn, actually. All right, sure. So untap. Signal pest. That was actually pretty good. Um, not sure if it's good enough, but what are you going to do, right? Just send. Make them figure it out. Here you go. Navaloxidon is six power, so I can attack through the thing. I'm just coming across the board. There you go. Attack with everything. Yeah, I mean, our, our draw was not very good. You know, we, we kind of, like, had some stuff. and We didn't have any zeros. The Alpine one's kind of awkward. We're on the draw. Like, they had they drew naturally drew Radiant Fountain. They had a Boreal Grazer and an Amulet. What's up, folks? You're shooting against Mog Monday. The show where I play Gobs every Monday. Yes. Loxo Gobs. So they can, like, bounce to Laria here. I mean, Explosive's, like, we have a, a 1, a 1, a, a 5, and 3 zeros. Let's have the Whacker in our hand, too. We might, like, steal this game, folks. I suppose um, they can just attack and double strike land and kill us. But that would only be 12. That's not enough. So, I mean, they can uh, Teleria West here and stuff. Maybe we should have named Simic Road Chamber. I don't know. The problem is they just have other bounce lands. They could easily just draw another Sanctuary or Gruul bounce land. Usually it's, like, four Grow Chambers, like, two Selesnya, two Gruul, and a Boros. Packed again, all right, or packed for the first time, but they get a dry to be Elysian Grove. All right, sure. Do they have a they have Valakit in their deck too? Naming Valakit might be better, also. Will Valakit be enough? If they have two Valakits, oh man, that, that's that's probably enough. We still have a Whacker in our hand, you know, like, and they have a blocker though. Yeah, this is probably enough. Oh, we're just dead, actually. No, we're not dead. But they have, yeah, we, are, they, they, have, they have a land drop still. Oh, there's six power attacking. All right, sure. Whatever. They got us. They did everything. That's fine. Nice reading found. All right, so now we're back on the play. Um, Alpine Moon, huh? I'm going to go down to two moons. That moon, moon just seems pretty bad. Like, it's better than Mog War Marshall, but... I'll just keep the implement. We're just going to keep our uh, our linear plan for game three here on the play. Game three on the play. Uh, the deck list is now on the overlay. There you go. It's up now. Let's go. They just got to like not draw amulet basically, you know? That'd be really cool if they just didn't drive me up for one game. On the play. And our hand is uh, quite good. It's actually kind of the nuts. Turn one, Spectre. Turn two, Rebirth, Pest, Loxodon. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Just a little Inspector. No big deal. 
Not a problem. Just a little, little inspector. No amulet, please. Just don't amulet me for once in your life. So next turn we go land, rebirth, pest, loxodon. Come on. How do they have all three games? All right. As long as they don't have the nuts. Uh, we kind of have the nuts too. All right. So toolcraft's a little awkward. Actually, probably toolcraft over pest. No, I don't think so, actually. We go land. Rebirth the clue. Now, the option here is Toolcraft or Signal Pest. Pest is worth a lot more, so... Pest me. Loxo me. We're doing it. Bingo. All right. We're doing it. Turn two. And counting Pest, this is 3, 6, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. This is 18 damage tacking next turn. That's 19, but there are 20, unfortunately. <laughs> Finn, resub. Thanks so much. Tier two. Love it. So, uh, what we draw in here to finish them off? So we're a little bit short. Dryad. I mean, Azusa, sure. Kalani Garden, sure. Radiant Fountain again? God, you natural Radiant Fountain drawn punk. Ornithopter, where were you last turn? All right, so uh, we just slam jam here, and can we like play our explosives in some way? Maybe, like we hold something. I don't think we hold anything. Tag for a million. They gotta win next turn. Um, block locks it on. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen damage. Play toolcraft. Play implement. Play ornithopter. And just jam it. Put it all put it all out there. We got zeros, we got ones, we got a five. Alright, here we go. Hold on to your butts, folks. We need to not we need to not die this turn. F six, turn three. It's all on them. It's all on them. Yeah, we did not register our, our... We did not register this deck to not put every card on the battlefield as fast as possible and attack with everything. So... Someone asked for our playing this card. It's an excellent card to sacrifice to Cold Author Rebirth. Uh, it's just one... Yes! Game. <laughs> Blouses. Yes! 2-0. 2-0 here on Monday. Let's go, folks. Let's keep it going here with the old Loxo Gobs. Brought to you by Coalesce. Coalesce Parallel Shop. Get your Godfather shirt. Get your Goblin shirts. Get your Pile Driver shirts. Up oh, there it is. Perfect. Look at that. Check it out. Coalesce Parallel Shop. Promo code Jim10. 10% off your order. Coalesce Apparel at that shop. Promo code Jim10. 10% off your order. Tons of great new designs. The Azoria shirt came out today. Check that one out, of course. And uh, check it out. Coalesce Parallel Shop. Super comfortable. Super awesome. If you're not going to buy anything, just go look at all the cool designs. They're really, really fun. There's like over 40 awesome designs now. Check it out. Call us Parallel Shop. Uh, all right. Not a great hand here. It's not bad. I mean, like, we do have Rebirth plus Pest. Punnet Mulligan to six. You have Double Canyon. We're on the draw. So we go turn one, Ornithopter, Pest. Turn two, Rebirth. Might even be turn one, Thopter, Rebirth, honestly. And turn two, Pest. Double Canyon. They Mulligans. I'm going to keep... Like, we can draw into... A Loxodon off our canyons, too. It's kind of a loose keep, but... I'm a loose guy. Oh, my God. Don't Chalice. Chalice the Void is, like, unbeatable for us. All right. Um, Fox says, Hey, Jims, watch your first two arena videos on YouTube. Very funny and interesting now. Do you still hate the 15-degree 15, 15 tap on arena? Um, I'm used to it now. It's fine, you know. All right, so we're going to, yeah, actually, we cannot, we actually can't beat the card Chalice of the Void. We actually cannot beat it. So I'll draw the Tron once again here to ruin my day, as it always is. One of my least favorite decks in the history of Magic. All right. Please don't play Chalice of the Void. Oh, thank God. Oh, boy. It's a Woolcraft Exemplar. That's pretty good. Uh, all right. I mean... 
We're jamming. We're playing Toolcraft and Signal Pest. We got Double Canyon. They can Thought Not Serious if they want to. End step. Dismember. Signal Pest. That's not that bad because the four damage that they just took would have been similar to what they were taking off the thing, so. It does make it so by I can't attack with the uh, exemplar anymore, but we probably just jam, honestly. We'll just draw a freaking uh, a bushwhacker. What's up, possum? How's it going, my friend? <laughs> sure. Uh, we're going to uh, try and draw Venerate and locks it on them. Boom! That's okay, I guess. Um, am I willing to trade Toolcraft for three damage? It's close. It's close. They're nowhere near Tron, which is good. If I wait a turn, then the Toolcraft will be at four power if they can't kill this. I'm going to wait. Wait a turn. Hopefully draw Bushwhacker. That'd be nice. Bushwhacker, Loxodon. Good draws. What do they got going on here? One Carlos in the main phase? Exposition map? Sure. This is a, a, a turn off for them. They, they, they map here. This is great. Excuse me. The blast zone isn't even that bad for us. Chalice on zero? What? What? Inconceivable! We do have zeros, but... Chalice on one seems so much better. All right, that's that's a lot of lands for a, a, a nineteen land deck, but let's party. They don't got much else going on. I'm not gonna lie. So, tag with everything, pump everything. They're taking a lot here. They can get a they can go get a blast zone, which would kill my pest and my exemplar. But all right, go to three life points. Consideration for trying a token for two damage. What? Oh, sacrificing a token for two damage. Uh, I think with pests, it's not worth it. It's just, but you, you get the, oh, we'll get the, the two damage back the next turn. So I think it's worth it. Oh, yeah! Game. <laughs> Blouse. Look at all these lands we drew. It didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. All right, so now the scary thing is that um, Chalice of the Void, they're on the play, and they have Chalice, which like, we're screwed. We need to, like, diversify our bonds a little bit here. Um, Legion Loyalist has almost no play. Because first strike doesn't really matter. Because all our stuff's pretty big. And then I have any tokens except for Ugin, whatever. But let's cut that. Um, Selfless Spirit doesn't work against uh, all his dust. But it's just, like, a card that doesn't cost one. So... Uh, we're on the I'm gonna draw here. Oh man, hedging and chalice is like the worst feeling in the world, you know. I don't want to cut anything else. Could shave like two implements, maybe. I mean, whacker, rebirth, exemplar, inspector, all this pest are all really important. All right, we're gonna hedge a little bit. I don't love Selfless Spirit here, but Flying is also not terrible against them either, so. Alright. Alpine Moon's not worth it against them because, like, they're not, like, that reliant on Tron or anything like that, so. How fancy are the paper Loxodons I own? They are normal printing, medium to lightly to heavily played. I don't like fancy cards at all. I am not a fan, so. I like beat up versions of the original printing of cards. I mean, if they have a chalice, we're just dead, but I don't think we can make a mulligan this hand. We're just going to keep. Map? Sure. Thopter. Um, interesting. He probably just stopped her birth on, on one here. It's a little awkward, but... I mean, like, Pest Pest on two and then Whacker on three. Please, God. Please, God. Don't have Chalice. Please, don't have Chalice. Please, 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 please. Please, I'm asking nicely. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
no chalice and no second drawn land. This is not an Eldrazi drawn player. I don't know what's happening here. So whatever is happening here is not how Eldrazi drawn usually works. So I, I can't believe what we're seeing here. I can't believe. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Like, when does Eldrazi Tron not have it against me? My most hated deck. Um, I'm just going to fetch a mountain, I think. Got plenty of lands anyway, so... We'll thin our deck a little bit. All right, I mean, this is a, a honk and shonk and attack next turn. Like, we have... The Whacker plus the Pests, each Goblin will be four power. And the both the Pests will also be... Oh my god, Matter Shaper? <laughs> You're playing Matter... You think you can just play Matter Shaper and you, it's just going to be okay? Please draw one drop. Please draw one drop. Please draw one drop. That's fine, too. You think you can just play Matter Shaper? You think we're playing freaking Standard? I don't know if it's lethal or not. I'm just going to hit the button. I think it's pretty good. 4, 8, 12. Oh my god. Get out of here! Get off my plane. Get out of here, Eldrazi Tron. So you get nothing. Matter Shaper. Good day, sir. 3 0. Mog Monday. Who's pumped? Who's pumped, huh? Sometimes you guys have to set the mood a little bit. You know, you get your goblins in one side, you light some candles. You put your elephant on the other side, and you sing to him a little bit. You tell him to get together. <laughs> Hi. Has it... How... I, I, I got a commercial. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. back uh yeah so a prof professional streamer i um so the ad button i was trying to play the ad for like a joke but the ad button on my thing it runs the ad and mutes the mic for the set time that's the length of the ad so even though i turned the ad off my mic was still muted and i can't like stop it because it's part of the it's part of like a function so i i i yeah i yeah so anyway um we're on the draw and our opponent's keeping seven our hand's not great, honestly. Um, no rebirth, no locks it on, but we're just gonna keep. Whatever, let it ride. We have a lot of big draws here. Locks it on's great. Snow covered island. You're gonna bring snow covered island to the party. Pest ain't bad either. Um, I think we just inspector. Instead of a whacker pest turn, that'd be pretty cool. Play the Ornithopter too. Opt. Yeah, sure. Opt goes top. I mean, next turn's like Loyalist Pest. So it's, that's pretty good too, also. So, Let's see what they're up to here. Let's see what they're up to. Scalding Tarn. Sacred Foundry. Um, don't want to like conceal the pest. Who's that, Dingus? Any hopeful goblin reprints on the mind for MH2 boss? Yeah, Rashad and Port, come on down. You're the card I'd like to see in Modern Horizons too. Uh, so I don't know if like they're bolting. I don't know what they're doing over here. You know, if they're bolting, we're in trouble. Did I donate my hair? It wasn't long enough. That's to be like eight inches to donate. It's probably like five, four inches. So I was not waiting another eight months to donate it. Sorry. I'm a bad person. All right. Let's start Loyalist up. Hopefully it's blue-white. If it's the Snap Bolt deck, we're probably in huge trouble, honestly. How is Port not gross and modern? Read my article on CoolStuffInc.com where I go over it. It was like a week or two ago. I went over the 10 cards that I want to see. Or 8 cards that I want to see. I think it was 10. 10 cards that I want to see. I explained exactly why Port would be a fantastic card for Modern. Coolstuffinc.com. Read them articles. Read them articles.
Not the most high-powered attack here, but... I kind of want to conceal the pest. Let's play implement. So they go. Best way to get into modern. Uh, Magic Online. So there are there are loan programs for Magic Online. Uh, I'm not currently sponsored by any of them, so I'm not going to really pump any of them. But um, I guess Card Horror is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this is bad for us. Rensex is also gross for us too. But um, there are loan programs. You pay like a certain set fee a month. You can borrow whatever cards you want. It's pretty cool. No Galvanic Blast. Yeah, I know. Gonna do. Yeah, I mean this is this is probably not good for us. All right. I mean, that's. I mean, if somehow if this bush, bushwhacker resolves and like affects the board in a positive way, that'd be pretty cool. But all right, here we go. Hold on to your butts. It's whacking time. No. I like that. Oh my god, it resolved. Imagine if you got electrolyzed here. Can you imagine if you got electrolyzed here? This is a pretty chonky attack. I mean, this gives the the pest haste also. Prismari Command. Who in their right mind plays Prismari Command in Modern? This card's freaking terrible. Come on. Get off my plane. That's pretty gross. Freaking Prismari Command. So we get in for, that's not like a terrible attack. It's still pretty good. They're at 11 now. Ugh. We're also drawing a card off this, drawing a card off this, drawing a card for turn. Freaking Prismari command. They have Ren 6 too. Ren 6 is also really good against us. Yeah, that, the reason why Prismari command was good there was because that was a Coligan's command actually. Uh, and Coligan's command is actually a good card. So... And it's coming to Historic, too. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Land, go. All right, so untap. Unfortunately, now our Thoughters aren't doing much. That was a good draw. Now, are we scared of Cryptic Command? Maybe. Maybe. Because um, if this Whacker doesn't connect, we're not getting in for anything. Let's draw. Yeah, I'm also a little scared of Through the Breach, too. I kind of agree with that statement as well. Um, we're pretty dead to a Through the Breach. Whatever, just freaking do it. Let it ride. What's up, Ross? Yo, Ross, how are you, how you Ron Okians feeling about visitors? I need a vacation. Come down for a week, hang out. We play basketball, Q draft. We're all vaccinated now, right? Mismatch Islands? Yeah, so I called that one, unfortunately, but I am fully back, so that's me. That is me. I need a vacation. Thopter again? Oh, God, we're in trouble. Uh, all right. Coming in. Awesome, Sonic. Happy to hear. Put them to seven. So we should go land through the breach. Just another Mog Monday. Fully vaxxed. Two weeks out. Itching to get some some social socializing into my life. I don't know. I don't know how to socialize anymore. I just don't even, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't think I ever knew, but like I definitely don't know now for sure. Um, not a, not a clue. Hi, how are you doing today? I uh, um, hi. Do I do you shape? I don't even. Hi. Historic anthology thoughts. That'll be uh, on Friday. Coolstuffinc.com. My article. So reading the uh, good books lately. <laughs> Shake the glass. What is this? Ren six. That's not good. All right. Uh, or thoughters aren't very good in the in like the, the heavy interaction matchups, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see here, of course. Well, they don't have they don't have uh, Emrakul. That's pretty good for us. We will provide all the social lubricant you need. Oh yeah. I wait. What? All right. So crack the clue. Just start there. Signal pest. Sure. 
It's not very good against Ren 6, unfortunately. Uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. Too many Thopters, not enough payoffs for the Thopters, and then too much... Like, the Prismari Command was backbreaking. Just actually backbreaking, unfortunately. All right, we're going to attack the, the Ren 6, so they have to at least get rid of it for the to kill the Pest. Oh my god, now what? Where is your Doran? The Siege Tower? It would certainly help right now. It would certainly help. Thanks, Teresa. I appreciate that. Month number two, most important month. Thanks, Johnny Hotbox. They just fetched shocked? Prismari Command again? <sighs> what is this deck? Yeah, they're they're an ever cool deck. Alright, we're in big trouble. I mean. I think we're just holding this past and we're trying to crack and draw. Christ. Should I draw a whacker? This Barry Command's real good against us, that's for sure. This card's terrible. Play a land, then get back a mystery. Perfect. Why not? Alright, draw a card. Alright. Okay, there's my boy. I mean, I'm sure we're getting snapped cryptic, cryptic here, but whatever. What are we going to do? You know, what are we going to do? They're at four. We can't even, like, really concede if they have snap cryptic here. It, it resolved? What? Oh, my God. So you're telling me there's a chance? There's no, there's no, there's no chance here. This can't be. I mean, they didn't have to do the Reach Emmercool last turn, so... And I don't think they're beating this board. Prismari Command is only good when when um it's in Cole against Command Mode, because Cole against Command, Cole against Command is actually good. Don't give me hope. Yeah, don't give me hope. Game. <laughs> Blouses. W O oh, W, it's in the game. Yeah, that was uh, that was something. That was something. Let me tell you. All right, so we're gonna cut these uh, these doctors. We're gonna bring in Thalia, Forge Tender, um, like a Legion Loyalist maybe. That was sometimes they just don't got it. I mean, I can only bet their hand was like Emrakul, 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 or something like that, because these those decks are terrible, I think. Um, all right, so we got the, the, the Thopters and the Thalia. Now we're a little lighter on artifacts, but that's fine. And then uh, let's just call it a day. Let's just freaking go. Let's go. Let's go. Mog Monday. Mog Monday. They play Anger of the Gods? Yeah, I mean, so we have these uh, four genders for. And the thing is that, like, that's what Locks and I was really good against, is cards like Anger of the Gods, because you get to, like, Anger of the Gods, Strangling Soot, whatever. Not Strangling Soot. Uh, Ritual of Soot. The cards that don't kill the, the big things. Come on. What is, what is this? What is this? What are you doing to me? Thopter better than Memnite versus Rensex? It doesn't do enough by itself. We need cards that are individually, like, functional. All right, we're going to keep this. Ship planes. It's not a great hand, but it's it's passable. Let's draw locks it on. Flood strand, sure. I mean, I get, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get six in the next year. We can't not play Soul Grab the Exemplar. I don't think. Yeah, whatever. All right, don't run six me. Don't you do it. What's up, Dusty? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Davis. This is Mog Monday, episode 84. Loxo Gobs today. And, uh, god damn it. I hate Ren and Six. I freaking hate this card. I hate it. Like, it's, like, not good enough to ban, but I freaking hate it. Just such an unfun card. It's super lame. Alright. Uh, I guess we can, like, kill it here. We kind of just have to. I would prefer to not burn my whacker right now, but we just like have to do it, I think. So we could like we could like attack it for one, play War Marshal, 
they want to kill something, then they get to and they lose it anyway, and the next turn we inspector whacker. Ross says, just freaking kill it. Maybe wait. I'm going to wait. Most things I want to just do with the opposite of what Ross said to do, so. Poke it. So there you go. Next turn would be Inspector, Whacker, Attack for a lot, so. Right, they're going to get a land back. They're not going to kill a creature. Don't have, like, anger here. That would suck. Should I go lay? They're going to person Mario Command this again. I, I hate this person. All right. Uh, no Echo. Signal Pest? That's... Alright, that's even better, but much worse against Prismari Command. So we're actually going to hold that, I think. This is definitely Prismari Command here, so... Inspector. Resolves. Land. Whacker. It's the amazing Goblin Whacker guy. Alright. And then we're going to attack Ren and Six with two creatures, I guess? So, um, everything attacks. We're going to send two things at run and six to guarantee that it dies. The rest are at them. I imagine we're going to see a Prismari command to kill the Mem 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 Memnite and another creature. It's cool having a, a canopy and a clue in play, too. So even though we're like basically empty handed here, it's not that bad. Crack a fetch. Get a land. I wonder why they're playing a snow covered land and a non snow covered land. Alright, so Prismari Command, kill Inspector Memnite. Ren dies. Why would they kill the Inspector, which is currently attacking the... They, like, took too extra damage there. They have, like, Electricery or something like that. That's not a Whacker. Uh, okay. Let's stack the Canopy. Draw. Okay, that's not great either. Uh, Alright. I mean, you're probably getting Amber Cool next turn. I got, I, got, I got a feeling. I got a little tingle here. Counterbounce the clue. Nope, oh, struck card. Right. Play Mem Knight, play Lance, they go. I mean, if they have Emmercool, we get, we, get, we get to keep two ones in play, which is probably not good enough to win, but. Oh, no Emmercool. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Canyon again? Man, we love we love drawing lands. 18 lands in our deck, freaking draw 10 lands a game. Thalia. Thalia, Thalia, Thalia. A little late for Thalia to be super good, but coming in. They get a snap as Mari Command here. Sure. I mean, this is not great, but it's not like terrible. So, deal two, destroy an artifact, sure. Imagine they'll block here too, sure. They have four cards in hand. We weren't punished for not playing Thalia, they would have just done a response. There's no difference, so. Play that, so there you go. We cast Thalia, we're tapping out anyway with no cards in our hands. They, they're not playing around anything anymore. Bitch cast that snap, cast a response to Thalia. Doesn't do anything. So. Red, blue, lightning bolt, Thalia. Not cool. All right, so we got a goblin and a chair here. Chip and a chair here on Mog Monday. Mm. <laughs> we have drawn, we, we've drawn three canopies. We've actually drawn seven lands this game. That's not bad. It's not great, but all right, they're going to go to eight. 
Can't wait to win this game. Had to show me their hand. It's five Emrakuls. I can't wait. I have very low opinion of these through the breach Emrakul decks. Archmage's Charm, draw two, sure. Crap. Alright, sure. <sighs> All right, we're two. Draw, Arab Mesa, we're at one, your turn. Yeah, all right, tough game there. A lot of interaction, they got a lot of interaction for us. Now we're on the play though, so that's pretty good. Um, we have an interesting core Firewalker? No, I don't think so, because they just have Snapcaster to block it with anyway, so that's fine. Let's get him. Let's get him. I'm not too worried. On the play. <sighs> Come on. Mulligan. That's better. Um, you can keep this. We keep this. We have turn one toolcraft, turn two Thalia. We should dump the implement here. It's bad with Thalia. It's the worst card in our hands. It's all pretty pretty uh pretty self explanatory. Play Toolcraft Exemplar. Next turn is Citadel, Thalia, Attack for 3, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Just go tap land go, please. Venerated Loxodon, eh? A little awkward, but sure. Please don't kill my thing. Damn it. God, why do they always have it? Always. All right. It's one less bolt for Thalia, but our uh, board is not super wide here, that's for sure. And the, the Citadel, we're playing one Citadel. It's just like an extra land and an extra artifact. Can't cast a lot of our cards, unfortunately. It's all right. Tablet's not bad. I think it's also, Renzix also kills Thalia too, so. Inspector, yeah, this is super awkward. Alright. I should play Renesix and kill my Thalia, probably. You should be allowed to have Mox Opal in your deck if you're playing uh, Veteran Loxodon on your deck, too. God, I hate Renesix so much. I freaking hate this card. Alright. Uh, a Rebirth off the top, please. Inspiring Man, that's not the worst. Um... So we can like whacker here and kill Ren and Six. Or we can play yeah, we should, we got a whacker here. Alright. Not ideal, but fine. No, Mox Opal is a problem for sure. I'm glad Mox Opal's banned. I just wish it wasn't banned for this deck, you know. So we got Loxodon. Um The problem is like now they have like cryptic commanding crap up. We can't really afford to, like... We can, like, Inspector, Inspector, cast Loxodon, and then just counter it, which is just terrible. I guess we just go for it. What are we going to do? I think it's worth the buy into Modern Copter Sacrifice in paper. Um, the deck's cool. I, I wouldn't, you know, give any promises it's, like, a Tier 1 deck or anything. The deck was certainly fun and did pretty well when we played it. Um... All right, so they counter this. We have enough permanence to survive an Emrakul attack and still attack back for four, which is kind of good. Um, Archmage's Command. Interesting. Go to combat first. We have two power in play. They're never tapping our team with Cryptic. All right, them not having a land there is kind of scary. It means they might be rolled up with the combo, but yeah, we draw a good amount of lands. Oh, oh. If they had Cryptic, they definitely would have used it last turn, so please don't counter this. Come on. Come on now. We need you. Oh, boy. Okay. 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 Lightning Bolt, whatever. Lightning Bolt, whatever. Can you stop? What? What? What is this garbage? Inconceivable! They're storming off on us. 
25 life? Get out of here. What is, what the hell is this? We're on a burn deck. Ugh. Archmage's Charm, draw two, sure. We draw another, they're at 19? That was insane. I just gained 100,000 life with that. That's so sick. Venerate locks it on. I think it's too late, though. They didn't play a land again, though. All right, let's just crack a clue and see what happens. Canyon? Yeah, we draw a lot of lands. All right, we're just going to crank it up here and hope they don't kill us. And now we're at 15, too, so Emrakul actually kills us. That's brutal. Because like, if we were at, like, 16 or 17, we just sack land, 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 clue, and get back in. We, t we attack them for... It's not lethal anymore, either. Opt. All right, this is a this is a, this is like a array of possible sunshine here that they cannot find this fifth land. They bottom. They play a land. If they have cryptic here, we're dead. To, we were we're dead to like a great many things, but um, this is insane. All right, draw a card. <laughs> All right, draw a card. All right, I mean, they gotta have nothing, but. We're clenching, okay. Okay, we're attacking too. Uh, Snapcaster, what, Weatherstorm, Bolt, Bolt, okay. I mean, they 100% have Emrakul, plus for the reach in their hand. All right, so, serve. They're chumping. Yeah, I think we're dead, folks. I think we're dead. Yeah. All right. No undefeated run. It was a good run. I mean, like, the Red and Six Lightning Bolt, Weather of a Storm, you know, Prismari Command deck is pretty good against us. So, whatever. That's fine. All right. You win. You win. Three and one. Three and one. Last match here. Last match. What do y'all think? What do y'all think of the old Loxo Gobs? Hmm? Thanks, down right. The old Loxo gobs. Thoughts? Thoughts? Huh? Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! Yeah, that weather of a storm was, uh, was clutch. Haze of Rage, better than Loxodon. What the hell's Haze of Rage? It's like this pump storm card maybe haze of rage two mana sorcery buyback storm plus one plus oh it's end of turn that's pretty bad it's happy gilmore a hockey movie or a golf movie yes yes what's our last match here road ninja new sub what's your name for thanks so much appreciate that you great you great. Next up, we'll be uh, opening up these Strixhaven Collector Boosters, thanks to Wizards of the Coast. And then we're going to be uh, going over my matches from the Insight Esports $5,000 Open from last Saturday. Ross, are you still here? Why Are you playing the uh, Insight Esports $5,000 Opens? You should be. You should be. Yes, I'm going to be going over my matches. Post Post-match analysis. Post-match analysis. What's going on here? A minute and a half for a match? Huh? Spending all your available time and answers to a new hot tub. You know, you realize that you have you could have a laptop and you could be playing the tournament in that hot tub, right? Ross hot tub stream run. Ross will even fix his computer to play against me on Mog Monday. Ross, is your computer fixed yet? Can we do Arclight versus Goblins yet? Is that a thing we can do? Everyone yell at Ross Merriam in chat. If you're watching on YouTube, yell at Ross Merriam in the YouTube comments. Soon. Yes, yeah, soon. It's been like soon for like nine months. All right, come on. Come on, Ross. All right. Um, We are on the draw. We have a Loxodon. We're going to keep. It's like not great, but we're going to keep. Oh, no. No. Not again. Anything, but we're, we're going to get chalice so hard this game. Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. I like this. Not like this. 
Now, if I kick this, it's the MCs too, right? God. Oh, Matter Shaper. Okay. I love how, I love how it's always like, please, God, don't do this. Please, oh, it's Matter Shaper. Okay, it's fine. Whew. Oh, boy. I got scared for a second there. That was a good draw. Um, still a little short on Loxodon, but... All right, so we like Loyalist, Memnite, Implement, go. Hmm, this is like, it's fine. You know, if this is a, is a, we're still one short of a Loxodon, but. Don't have a, a Thought Not Seer here. That would be a real punishing them being on the play kind of thing. They could thought not before I can lock it on. So next turn we're like, are we playing the Whackers a one one? Oh, thank God, it's Matter Shaper. Thank, thank God. Oh, the the relief of Matter Shaper. Um, all right, so we're gonna. Draw a card. Try and draw some sort of. Nope, it's another land. Man, this is this uh, this freaking deck here. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about this freaking deck. All right, so we're just gonna play Whacker as a. Do we play Whacker as a as a creature, or do we just hold it and pump it for next turn? We're also gonna have first strike, which is kind of cool. Is having a two two in play worth? I, mean, I, think we, I think we just hold it. I kind of agree. All right, let's play land. Play Loxo. Pretty good. Pretty good. I guess the fear here is if we draw Thought Knots here, they're going to get it, but they didn't have it last turn, so they have to draw it like exactly this turn. Also, if you draw any other creature, we can give it haste and attack with it too, so... Oh, look! Natural Tron! That's so weird that they would do that. That's, that's such a weird, what's weird that they would do that to me. Are you kidding me? It's obviously not that bad. We do just love our, our creatures, obviously, but. And, and just a, a totally disrespectful attack. Completely disrespectful. Map, sure. God, I, I, it's natural trance. We, I, this is actually insane. We're playing 19 lands in this deck. 19 lands. That's not bad. All right. Let it ride, I guess. Coming in for uh, a seven ball, eight ball, nine ball. Oh, I, I, El Eldrazi Tron is my, probably my least favorite deck in the history of Magic. Because the thing I love most about Magic is like synergy and cards working together more than some of their parts, you know. And Eldrazi Tron is just like, oh, did I draw a Tron? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to, to, to hammer this in. Did I draw it? No. Did I draw this part of my deck? You know, what part of my deck can I draw here? Like, and just like, it works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. It's playing freaking Matter Shaper. Uh, they got Blast Zone here too. That's a sick, that's a sick sickness. That's a sick, sick sickness. All right, we're just dead. They got Blast Zone. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, folks. I'll draw this turn worse than Oracle Pact. Yeah. It's almost hard to hate Oracle Pact because they're just freaking singleton deck, you know? Like... It's hard to hate them that much, because they are playing singleton. It's annoying, but like they're at least they're at least at least they're trying. You know, regular Tron tries. It plays cards like freaking Sylvan Scrying. Like it's it's trying to do something. Eldrazi Tron isn't trying to do anything. It just stumbles into it sometimes. You know. All right, uh, we're like pretty dead here. Like try and make him pop his blast zone and then play his one drops. I guess. Yeah, we're super dead. We're super dead. No, we're gonna pop it, aren't we? All right. Uh, I misclicked anyway. I I I I, I misclicked. Whatever. We're just dead. All right. You win. You win this round. Natural Tron. Natural Tron. All is thus. You win this round. All right. Um. So we got a hedge against uh Chalice again. So we're gonna bring in. Like Thalia, Selfless Spirit. We're going to cut the Loyalists and like two Combustions, I think was what we did last time.
Otherwise, the challenge is rolling dice. You're just like trying to, oh, well, hopefully I, you know, we'll roll together the combination of cards that works. Stupid deck. I hate stupid deck. Oh, my Monday. I'm tired. Come on, Loxodon. Let's go. Where are you? That's super. We haven't drawn this card in a while, actually. It's like the main card in the deck. Good hand, though. We're going to keep. Thanks for all your great content. Not Blastoise. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nine months. Name our sub, baby, please. Nine months. Impressive. Put them all against the five. Good. Good. So, Chalice on one still really good against us here, but. I played the Oracle Pack deck in Historic. Do I plan to? No. Probably not. Probably get banned real soon anyway, so. Not worth playing. Alright, it's Toolcraft. Go. Next turn is Inspector, attack for three, rebirth a token. Put a million power in play. If we can draw a Loxodon here, I'll, I'll forgive everything. It'll all be forgiven. Uh, no, but that's good, I guess. So, Inspector. Land. Attack for three. And birth it. Nope. Birth it. And now what? They have Chalice on one here. It, it kind of sucks, but we're at least we're wide enough that we can just kind of keep attacking, and we have more Marshall too. So, double power plant. I will say, um, you know, I did win the uh, the StarCityGames.com Players Championship. That's in, and the twenty thousand dollars that came along with it, uh, mulling to five and playing. Ur Let me mull to four, and my first two lands drops were Ursus Power Plant, Ursus Power Plant. So I have a little bit of a, a soft spot for those. Uh, canyon, sure. So, I mean, we're just getting in. We're going super wide. I think we're wide enough here. We don't even care about the Chalice anymore. Like, it obviously turns off two of the cards in our hand, but, you know, they're 12. Probably playing Echo next turn. Uh -huh. Temple, sure. Wouldn't be Mob Monday if I wasn't playing Echo, you know? Draw. Sunbake Canyon, sure. I could have drawn a card there, I think, actually. Because uh, if I draw a better it locks it on, I'd want to do that instead of attacking, but. What is this? Two colors? No, is a contortion? On one of my one of my many one ones. Now it's a warping whale. Looking for a, a little block ski here. Yes, Robbie will be. After this, we were doing a, a match review of my important matches in my five thousand dollar tournament last weekend, or two days ago. Blocking. If they didn't block there. I'd have been pretty scared. No braids. Nope. No braids. I did build this deck like you know an hour and a half ago, so it's definitely not. A, it's kind of kind of like a freshly brewed Mog Monday today. All right, and we have a Mind Stone. Okay. And your D.O.B. Can't cast that one. Can't cast that one. So we just beat Chalice the Void on, on one on the on the draw. Yeah, we're, 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 we're in the play. So, spend two. Spatial Contortion. Yeah, I mean, you do you. I'm just going to crack this. Dahlia, oh, sure. You're up. You're up. One single life point left. Not enough. Not enough. All right. Game three. Game three. On the draw now. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> just don't have Chalice, please. No Chalice, please. No Chalice, please. Appreciate that. Considered Kithian. Kithian's not very good. Uh, it's just like not really that good of a card. Even flipped over, it's not that good. Um, it doesn't really synergize with the uh, like the artifact stuff at all. Or like, what card is Kithian better than? You know? Oh boy. Oh, this hand. This hand does stuff. This hand does stuff. Mox Amber never works. 
Alright, keeping. Punt ball get to six. If they have Chalice here, they'll strand one toolcraft. We have, we have double venerated locks it on here. His hand's really good. Versus tower, sure. Marshall. Alright. Alright, here we go. If they have Chalice, we need to draw land. Or zero drop. Shit. Oh, thanks. It's Mindstone. Thank God. We're good. Land? Oh, come on. You're killing me here. Get in there, Ornithopter. Alright, no natural Tron, thankfully. They have a Thought Not Seer, but we have two, two locks on anyway, so we don't even care about that. Kithian over Ornithopter? No. His hand's not functional with Kithian. They took the... Took the... The Bushwhacker? We, only, we have zero red mana in play. Alright, that's a little, a little too much on the Loxodons, but Loxodons are really good against them, so... Alright, there you go. Locks on again next turn. Plus here, sure. Plenty more on that game from my friend. We need to avoid getting uh, all is dusted. But all right, we draw. Um. All right, let's send in one of the tool crafts, and then play another locks it on. I would happily trade for a Thought Not Seer here. And, like, we want to diversify against uh, Blast Zone. They are obviously one Urza's Power Plant draw away from, like, possibly doing some pretty nasty stuff, but this is great. We love this. All right, trade, draw. Oh, come on. What, what are we doing over here? There's one planes, uh... One planes. Alright, I mean... The good news is that they, if they do all this stuff, we have five power here. Which is pretty cool. Let's see how they live through it. Like, if they break off again this turn, I think we're in pretty good shape. So now we're actually attacking them. What is this? Another Thought Not Seer? No. What do you got for me here? What do you, what do you got for me? Karn, the Great Creator. I mean, I guess if I get in Snaring Bridge, we're in pretty big trouble. Can't actually remove that one either. Alright. They have four cards in hand. Where's the Snaring Bridge? There it is. And we also have to kill this uh, kill this Karn. Draw. This is, this is ridiculous. We're actually just playing Loxobots. We only have, there's only one land of the entire deck that makes white and not red. And there it is. All right, so we got to kill Karn. Um, attack them. I guess we should attack a Karn, Karn, and them. We gotta kill it, so. I think we have to kill Karn, yeah. They, we can't let them, like, get another card off Karn. I don't think. I guess we can just, like, attack. Hold on. Maybe, hold on. Maybe let's, 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 let's say about this. We could always just attack Karn to one. And then it would go to two next turn. Send Memnite at Karn? Wow. So this would be, that would be 5, 10, 14, 15, 16. Well, that actually kind of works. Look at that, Ross coming in a good play here because they are at exactly 16. They have exactly 16 damage. So we send Memnite to Karn and the rest of them. They have the chump block to stay alive. Karn dies and our one vulnerable attacker doesn't get through. That does work perfectly. Look at look at Ross. No! Look at Ross. Ross is the first time Ross has been helpful this entire, this entire, my entire time, my entire career streaming. Um, See, so yeah, I was going to poke the Karn with the thing. That, that, that's much better. So uh, this attacks Karn, attacks them, 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 them. So they'd be taking 10, 14, 16 damage exactly, so they have to block. Um, and then uh, maybe they'll block with Thought Not here to stay alive, if they have to. And then we'll draw a card for a red source and cast a Mog War Marshal. And 
So they block and trade. And they take uh, a bunch of damage. Karn dies. We draw an Ornithopter, uh, which I guess we're going to play. Signal Fest Ornithopter can beat in Snaring Bridge, in, in theory. And with so many cards in their hand, though, I think they're just dead. I don't think they can have emptied their hand well enough either, so... It's like a team event, Ross. It's like we're playing a team event all over again. Except in a team event, I would already have chosen my attacks. And you would have been like, why didn't you do this, this, and that? And I'd be like, uh... I, uh... Uh... <laughs> That's game! Game. Blouses. 4-1, and one, losing only to Prismari Command. 4-1 and one here on Mog Monday, episode 84. And uh, that was pretty fun, honestly. Inspector plus Rebirth is really good. The Whackers are really good, too. Um, Loyalist was whatever, honestly. This probably could have been like Bowman Coy or something like that. But um, the Marshals were also never... I mean, they were like finding in like certain matchups, but kind of eh, otherwise. Yeah, there we go, though. One land, one color in that last game. Screw Eldrazi Tron. Screw Eldrazi Tron. We hate Eldrazi Tron here. All right. Um, so we got more to do. We got matches to go over. We have packs to open, but uh, YouTube folks, that's it for my Monday. I love you, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Your comment of the day is Echo on Mod War Marshall. All right, I love you, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time on YouTube. Appreciate it. You're great.